As you can see, I'm trying to look as much like Barb Lowing. I'm failing, but I'm, no, you're not. You're I'm trying my hardest because I'm also amazed we have the same haircut, actually. Yeah, I love that. And I developed a, a, an email friendship with Patrick Marber. You got to talk to Patrick Marber? Over, over email, yeah. The opening night, the first scene, the camera taking the photos, my camera froze. <laughs> it jammed. Oh, my worst nightmare. <laughs> that click is so important. Yeah, it's that... musical <laughs> notation. Yeah. But after the show, I went downstairs during the opening night party and emailed Patrick because he'd been waiting to hear. And I said, you're not going to believe this. The camera froze. And he said, I've got to tell you this. You're not going to believe this. Every opening night, the camera has frozen. This is the original script. And it just says, yeah, uh, here, draft for all productions, August 1999. So wow. That's the, one, that's the one I used. Got history. Yeah. So there's a lot of pauses, there's a lot of beats, there's a lot of silences. Did you adhere to that? Yeah, you have to. The silences and the pauses are almost as important as the dialogue itself. Yeah. So the Newton's Cradle, which features throughout the play, um, what do you think it means? The temper, the beat. The beat. The rhythm of it. The play has a, has a heartbeat. I think it's also the economy of energy. I think the script requires that deft touch in order to cause the reaction. You don't have to swing it too hard. Do you know what scares me about it is that these humans are making selfish decisions that perchance maybe years and years ago might have seen, been seen through a different lens. A lot of things are the same, like relationships behave the same. There is behaviour that we as a society have kind of accepted to be just off the table. How did you guys address that behaviour then and what do you think about us addressing it now? Yes, all that stuff is off the table now, but it still happens. Yes, just because we don't talk doors. about just it. Just because yeah. we don't talk about it or society doesn't show it or, you know, there are all these protocols. It happens. And the way we dealt with it was we talked, we respected each other, and I'm not giving anything away because you've got to come and see the show, but... Every single woman that I ever spoke to after the show went, oh my God, baggage. So true. I used to say to people, I cannot believe this has been written by a man. Yeah. Because he completely understands women, but he also understands men. Oh, it's an expose of men in yeah, the most yeah. remarkable way. It's like a confession. It's such a, it's, that's a great word. It's a confession. You, you don't need my advice or tips. Use your instinct. You know who she is. And expect the camera to fail on opening night. No, don't. Your camera will not fail. Thank you so much for sharing your wisdom and your memories and your advice. Do come and see it. You'll love it. I'm sure it's magical.